Hi, I'm Ruby and I hope you've had an excellent weekend and let's get right down to um, this week's weekly reading, weekly oracle card reading. As you can see, I'm going to be using the Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra and Taylor. I've already done a, you know, a video already, but for some reason I cannot find it anywhere on my computer. I've hunted high and low and I've been having a, a few problems with the Logitech um, software. I'm using a Logitech webcam, nothing um, you know, too high tech, obviously, it's all low tech with me, but never mind. <laughs> so anyway, the cards that I did actually draw in the first video were Financial Constraints, let me hold it up a bit more so you can see more clearly, and Indecision. So... I thought it would be more authentic if I continued to use the cards that I originally drew. Perhaps, like me, you're one of these people that sometimes you decide to be a little bit frivolous with your money. Sometimes you know that you have to really, or you ought, to pay that gas bill, or the electric bill, or even the internet bill. But there's something that you want to buy more, something that you've seen on an internet shopping site or something you've seen in a shop window and you've decided that you're going to throw caution to the wind and you're going to overlook whatever financial constraints that you may have and you're just going to spend your money on what you want. Now, this is understandable because buying things always makes us feel better, doesn't it? But sometimes it is actually more wise and more prudent to actually pay our bills because then we don't get a pile of reminders, do we? <laughs> now, the second card, obviously, indecision. You see, I, I think these cards really do tie in very well, don't they, together? Because we can be undecided about what we want to spend our money on. So we have to actually, I think, that these cards are telling us so that we need to decide what is appropriate when it comes to spending our money and to prioritise. So, you know, we might decide that we want to get a lovely pair of shoes or we just want to buy something that we don't really need. But it's more important, isn't it, to, to pay your bills and to make sure there's enough food for everyone, that kind of thing. So I think these cards, like I said before, really do tie in together really nicely, don't they? Also, on, um, you know, a bigger global kind of scale on the, let's take our minds off ourselves for a moment and think about the, the macro, the bigger picture. And we all know that really this is what's been going on in the world for quite some time, hasn't it? Financial constraints. But maybe for all, you know, the people that make all the decisions, the politicians and the bankers and all the financial institu institutions, you yourselves have to restrain yourselves, don't you? You have to um, basically operate and act within the boundaries of what is actually fair and ethical. So that's actually a card for anyone um, in the financial uh, industry to, to dwell upon and meditate upon, isn't it? Also, um, indecision. Indecision, well, it's time for, on a global scale, that we come to a point where we have to overcome our inertia and our indecision and decide what is our, what our priorities are. What are our priorities? So I think that these cards really do speak, don't they? I mean, priorities can be all sorts of things, but mostly, and, and the best priorities are always to look after each other, first and foremost and to put all the other kinds of things, you know, on the back burner. It's all about making sure that everyone is looked after, isn't it? And not just the few. So anyway, I don't like these um these videos to, to run too long. And without, without glasses, I'm as blind as a bat. Are bats uh, blind, are they? <laughs> I'm not sure, but that's the first thing that came to my mind, the first analogy, blind as a bat. So I'm going to love you and leave you and have an absolutely excellent week. Bye for now.